Hey everyone, Andrew from Educate here and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to access Salesforce APIs using Python so you can retrieve customer details and metadata. I know I've briefly covered this in my web scraping demo video before but that was using third-party Salesforce Python libraries and depending on your organization's IT security and how users authenticate into Salesforce those libraries might not work. That's why in this video, we're not going to use any of those third-party modules, we're just going to use the requests library in Python. If we try to access those get requests without a token, we'd basically receive an authorization error. In order to generate that access token, we need the client ID, client secret, and authorization URL, which can be obtained by creating a connected app within Salesforce. So let's get started by logging in. We'll then go to setup, apps and app manager, click on new connected app, give your connected app a name and contact email, tick enable OAuth settings, provide a callback URL which can be anything, I'll just use localhost, select an OAuth scope you'd like to access, for me that's everything, and click save and continue. We'll then note down our consumer key which is the client ID and the consumer secret, which is our client secret, and our callback URL. We'll then click on manage, edit policies, ensure that permitted users is set to all users may self-authorize, and IP relaxation is set to relax IP restrictions. Depending on your organization, you may have to leave it as enforce IP restrictions, but then whitelist the IP addresses under network access. Click save and the hard part is done. If you haven't already, download a copy of my Salesforce module from educate.com forward slash articles forward slash SFDC and replace the input variables with your own details. I'm not going to bore you with a coding session so I'll just quickly run through what the module does. All we're doing here is taking the inputs from our Salesforce connected app to create a post request for our access token. So that's our consumer key, consumer secret, callback URL, and our Salesforce login credentials. The authorization URL can be found by going to this link here. Since we're making an authentication request for an access token, we'll just use the token request URL here. It's important to note too that if you're doing this for a sandbox, test, or dev environment, you'll need to change the start of the authentication URL to test.salesforce.com and your production environment will use login.salesforce.com. We'll then feed in all those credentials to create a post request, and we'll get a response from our post, which we'll use double quotes around the key value pairs. So we'll parse it as a JSON, so it's in single quotes, extract the value from the access token key, and distinguish the authentication type, which is a bearer token. We'll then extract the instance URL from the JSON response, and in most cases, this should be the same as your base URL, but some organizations may use an API URL that's different from the base URL, which has tripped me up in the past, so it's just safe to grab it from the JSON response instead of hard coding it. We'll then access one of the API endpoints like describe for the contact extract, which will give us the data dictionary and metadata details for the object. Then we'll just write a get request with our URL and bearer token, and parse it as a JSON, and voila, there's our data. I hope this video has helped you with extracting data out of Salesforce. Although their online documentation is really helpful, sometimes it can be a bit complicated to navigate. So I hope this video has simplified the web scraping process for you. If you have any questions or need help with getting your module working, please feel free to leave me a note in the comments. And if you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, hit the thumbs up button, get subscribed and hope to catch you in the next one. See ya.